your divine presence Lord we thank your mighty God that you have blessed us you have been so excellent in our lives Lord you have been mindful of us and you have blessed us we thank your mighty God that you are more than enough we thank you that you are more than able to keep us you are more than able to take care of us you are more than able mighty God in our place mighty Jehovah we pray today that you will preserve every believer, God. We pray, God, you said in your word, we should ask and it shall be given. So we ask that every believer pre be preserved. We pray, mighty God, in the name of Jesus, that you will help us to fight, to win. Mighty God, the battle is hot. Mighty God, the battle is fierce. And we pray, mighty God, hallelujah, that you will cover us, you will strengthen us, you will anoint us, Makoto, we pray for a greater anointing. A greater anointing upon your man, servant, Pastor Thompson. A greater anointing upon the prior group and the prior group members. A greater anointing upon our deacons. A greater anointing upon our evangelists. A greater anointing, mighty God. Yes, Lord, upon our exhorters. 
a great anointing mighty Jehovah upon our missionaries, a great anointing mighty God upon our Sunday school teachers, that they'll win the class at every cost, at every cost under God. Mighty God, we pray for them that they'll win their classes for Jesus. Mighty God, the devil is trying to rob the children. But God, let say we must pray and we must ask. So today we pray and we ask that our children be saved. We pray that they'll not just come to Sunday school, God, but we pray they'll be saved. We pray you'll empower and anoint the teachers to win them for Jesus. Holy Spirit of the living God, we pray that the mothers and the fathers will arise and cry out for their children, will arise and watch over their children, will arise, mighty God, and play the role that you have called them to, pray, to play, God, in their children's lives, mighty God. Yeah, Lord, the devil is trying to rob the children, but today the church cry out on the behalf of the children, mighty God, that the children be saved. Mighty God, hell is real, heaven is real, Lord. And God, it is your will. You have sent Jesus that all men, mighty God, might be saved. So today we cry out that our children will not just come to Sunday school, but they be saved. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we ask that you arise the, the parents to cry out, to pray, to watch over. Yes, Lord. Yes, 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 to be to be vigilant, mighty God, in watching over their children. Mighty God, help them to monitor their lives. Yes, Lord, not to leave them up to the devices, Lord. Mighty God, many attacks are coming from the devices. So we pray that the parents be vigilant. Holy Spirit of God. Holy God, hallelujah. Today, God, we commit this church into your hands, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as you have called this church to be the lighthouse, mighty God, in this community. God, we cancel every dance, every trap, every snare of the evil one. We cancel it, mighty God. No weapon that is formed against the church shall prosper. Yes, Lord, the church is founded on the rock. And the rock is Christ Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. So mighty God today, the church cry, Lord. Yes, unto you for help, Lord. Your word said we must cry for help. So today, the church cry for help. We summon heaven for help. Help, Lord. Equality of Blackwood Church of God. Cry out for help. We cry to you for help. Of the Lord and Jesus, Satan we rebuke you. Satan we rebuke your army. Satan we dismantle your work. Satan we dismantle your army against the church. He great a black with church of God shall stand, shall be the light out. Yes, God, you put the church here, Lord. Yes, mighty God, that souls must be saved. The sick must be healed, the blind must see, the deaf must hear, the dumb must speak, the sinner must be saved, the wise must be shut down, the young and dead must be shut down, Lord, as your people repent, as this community repent, as the adjoining community repent, as mighty God, your people repent. Lord, hell is real, God. And you have put 
the church here to all men, not to go to hell, Lord. So the church pray for salvation for your people today, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we find the forces of hell that come against this community. Every drunk head spirit, every one for shaking. Every gambling spirit, my God, every type of spirit that has possessed your people in these communities, God, we bind these spirits in the name of Jesus. Your word says, mighty God, that you give us power to bind. So we bind the strong man in these communities. We bind the strong man in these communities. We cast them back into the army's Lord. And for dear God, we pray and we lose the spirit of salvation upon your people. We lose the spirit of deliverance upon your people, Lord. We pray, God. Yes, Lord, for breakthrough. We pray for healing and deliverance upon the families, upon the communities, upon your people, Lord. Salvation and deliverance, Lord. We pray that the people might God, might have a mind to serve the Lord. We ask that you give your people, the people of these communities, a mind to love you, Lord, a mind to serve you. You say we must ask. So we ask that you give your people, Lord, the mind to love you and the mind to serve the Lord. We ask that you, mighty God, yes, God, deliver them from the bondage of sin and death. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, deliverance and victory God upon your people, Lord. God, we pray today, yes, Lord, for a hedge of voucher of my servant, Pastor Tom. Thank you that the hedge is already dear Lord. And we just ask you again, mighty God, to keep the hedge of more of wrong man servant, to keep the hedge about the prior group, to keep the hedge about every officer God, and mighty God, to keep the hedge upon every family and every member, and mighty God, their families and their adjoining families, mighty God. Keep your head upon the communities, Lord. You said the church must pray, God. So the church pray, God, for your divine blood coverage upon all the communities and the people within the communities. Holy Spirit of the living God, we pray that you will give your people a mind to read your word, to come to your house, to serve your Lord. Holy Spirit of the living God, deliver our land Jamaica from bloodshed. So much bloodshed, mighty God. We cancel the spirit of bloodshed. Mighty God, from our four shores, we send it back into the habits in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Holy Spirit of the living God, come our land under your blood. We are a sinful people, God. We repent. We have sinned. We have sinned. We have sinned, Lord. We repent, God. Jamaica, repent. Speak to the heart of our Prime Minister and his Cabinet, Lord. Speak to the heart of our opposition leader and his Cabinet, Lord. Cause them to rem remember, God, those days when they call upon you, those days when they cry out to you, those days when they put you first. Help them to remember those days. Bring them back, God. Bring back salvation to our shores, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, remember all the nations too, Lord. We pray for mercy. We pray for repentance. We pray for deliverance. We pray for salvation. We pray for help. God, so many of them are held hostage, God. We pray for help. We pray for breakthrough, Lord. Have mercy. Send healing and deliverance to your people everywhere, Lord. Today we commit ourselves, our lives, our service, this church into your hands. And we thank you that the light shall stand, and this church shall stand, and we, your people, shall stand. God, yes, we must have. We pray that there will be not one, all in mighty God from among us, but we all shall stand. We can't every sickness and disease upon our bodies, Lord. Sickness of the mind, of the body, of the spirit. Yes, Lord, various types of sickness of the feet, God. Various sicknesses and diseases in the bodies. We cancel this sickness and disease. We send them back into the abyss now. 
And Lord, we release your spirit of health and strength and wellness upon us. Health and strength and wellness upon our minds, upon our bodies, upon our families, upon our communities. Have your way among us. Glorify yourself. And we will love you and thank you for doing wondrously among us. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Just come, praise God. You know, prepare to come to us. Read the lesson for us. Praise the name of the Lord. 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 The prayer has been prayed. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 His presence, He is here. Praise the name of the Lord, believers. We know that He is here. Praise God. We feel His presence. We feel the anointing. Praise, praise God. We could see Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let us continue to worship Him. Let us continue to entertain the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Lift up the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise His holy name. Praise. Come on, contact choir. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. While they come, praise God. We sing this one. Be thou glorified. Be glorified the heaven. Be glorified the earth. Be thou glorified. Somebody please reload that one for me while they praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise his holy name. Hallelujah.
praise the name of the Lord. To God be the glory. Great things you have done. Is that amen, church? Praise the name of the Lord. Lift up the name of Jesus. Continue to worship God. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. You know, praise God. When I listen to praise God, Sister Valley, praise the name of the Lord. I know that the Spirit of God was in this place. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Listening to her, praise God, even touching on it. She wasn't at the prayer meeting Friday night, and it wasn't online. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. But the key cry out is who cry out to pray Friday night for children. Praise the name of the Lord. And we know, praise God, that the children, praise God, are really on the attack. We know that the enemy of our children, they are wrapped up in something. We know that. Praise the name of the Lord. But we also know that we have a deliverer. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. And that deliverer is Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. And the enemy is being fierce. I tell you something. Hallelujah. First day we were at a school. Praise the name of the Lord. In, in you know, having prayer meeting. And I said, a young man, big young man, coming to the prayer meeting. We invited him in and he, you know, gave me like he didn't want to come. Then he said, Look at my ring. He said, Don't be the master, I don't know if you come in on a prayer meeting. The dopey there is a laugh. And I saw him go on and I show him the ring. And I said, This is power. We have power. And what? Hurt me more than all. I see a young lady was saying, student also, I threw them attack, and nothing of them under them pause them. Yeah, they know the they can't do them nothing. Come on, church of God. <laughs> My God, be a fierce demon. Praise the name of the Lord. So the nation in trouble. Praise the name of the Lord. And we keep talking to him. Praise the name of the Lord. I asked him, which for me he's and he told me, praise God. I said, You come. You, Come first in your class at all times. He said, No. He said, Then your partner good, man. Your ring not good. Praise God. You know, I was trying to encourage him. Praise the name of the Lord. Anyway, he decided to accept prayer. And I tell the sister baby to really pray for him. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. And when she had prayed for him, praise God, I could see him holding down his head take time come up. Oh, praise the name of the Lord because I know that there is power in prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. So I want to say to us, praise God, our children, they are under attack. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. And they need help, Pastor. Praise the name of the Lord. They need help. Our children need help because they are behaving like nothing is wrong. Praise God. And so we know that they need help. Praise the name of the Lord. We're glad for our today. Praise God. Family son that God designed for the family. Praise the name of the Lord. And we know that we have something in store for us as family. Praise the name of the Lord. Lift up the name of Jesus. Worship our God. Worship our God. Praise the name of the Lord. Deacon Taps is going to come and to, to give us the welcome. Greet us and give us the welcome at this time. Praise God. We see we have some praise God. visitors at the back there. So praise God. So Deacon Taps, praise God. in the house of the Lord, with our families, and see the hand of those who takes a member of the families along, and the family, 
Extended and the Zoro take a member of the family along. Extended family, grandma, grandpa, niece, nephew, nobody. Oh, yes, Brother Biggs. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, can you stand, Brother Biggs? Yes, sir. That's about you. The member that you take along. Good day. This is Mr. Campbell. Um, Mr. Deva, these are my family members. Are your uncle or your father? Sir? Your uncle or your father? Good friends, good friends, good, good, good right. friends. So Mr. Campbell and... Mr. Campbell, Brother Campbell here. Brother Campbell. Brother Campbell. Right. Brother Campbell. Right. 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 Hallelujah. This is Brother Hines. Also. Brother Hines. Yeah. Brother Hines. I just want to give that thanks to know that we are here, you know, praising God because we are not from this neighborhood or area. We are all from St. Anne, but we are working in um, Chapatan and um, we were here approximately three weeks back and we decided to come up but then we decided not to go down this weekend so we decided to stay back but we promised ourselves that even though we're not going down we have to find a church because today is men's sunday at my church i'm the leader of the men's group and i'm not there today but i'm glad that i'm still here worshiping and as my brother said not too long ago that the devil tried but as long as god is in it then we'll have the victory because last night we almost didn't make it because we don't know the routine of the drive to get up here and we were at Trappetan until about some minutes to nine or something about that. And we decided because we are we were in Trappetan, it's just walking this time to go back where we are working. And a gentleman passed one at the time and said to us, Where are you going? And we said, Oh, I'm going to beg for the for the crowd. And he said, Mm-hmm, I'll go this one. Anyhow, he walk up the road and him walk come back down and he said to us, you know, sir, um, I turn up here on the day, you know, because no man come back up so. And we were there sitting down because we don't know if we get that right at that time we come and turn up here because the road was empty, you know, and um, anyhow, him go in and see my driver out, him call to us and he say, we no come, the telephone has some of you. And we get up. And we go in at the car and in the car we don't get free. You know, and we come down there and we stand up again and, you know, we is here going and coming, but we still don't know how to, <laughs> you understand, because we don't know the people, so we call our dear sister, friend, and she said, anything we do see at home, just stop it. <laughs> and luckily, I found driver on and we said, Bedford crawl. Anyhow, he stopped, but he never stopped. Where are you? He went to distance and then stopped. And there was also a, a gentleman who drink and drunk. And we knew him. And all that. <laughs> Thank you very much. We're just going to shut up for a while to hear Brother Devon testimony. One minute. Thank you. Okay. But, the long and short of it, as I said, then, God is good. You know, yes, because even though the devil was trying to stop us, God make a way that we could be here. You know, so we don't miss anything. Because although we are not at our church, but we are still here praising God. God bless you. Yes, Hallelujah. Greetings, everyone. Greetings. Good passes to the Rastaman, to everyone that is here. 
Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm thanking God for this privilege that I can stand in the hills of God to lift up my hand and say, thank you, Jesus Christ. I know that God is here. You know, the lady that was sitting here that moves around, God is working with you, ma'am. I'm not saying this to let you feel good either. But God is here. You know, a scripture, I reminded of a scripture in Revelation chapter 3 about there's a few in Sardis but not defile their garment. You know, if, if they could find 50 in Sodom and Gomorrah, it would have been destroyed. And he gave them to five, it would have destroyed. Jamaica is not better than the rest of the place. But I know that God finds five good people praying in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the storms that leave other countries, leave this country, go other countries, not because we are better. But thank God for praying, mothers. Glory to God. You know, when the lady was moving about, I remember uh, the church that Peter was in when he was locked up in prison. And they were praying. And, and when Peter knocked at the door, they could not believe when the dams opened the door and see Peter locked on the door. And they could not believe it was Peter. Prior. And what you prayed for, mother, it will happen in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. I just want to tell my dear brother and sister, my dear brothers, glad to have you today. And whenever you are here working and you want to come up, but that makes no more better than that. And I shall call Pastor. My four of us coming from that side and one Sunday morning time. We will join that you and pick you up, sir. Whenever you are here, I will have to get in touch with Pastor that we can call us. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy yourself. <laughs> okay. Uh, give my thanks to Sister Thomas. Sister Thomas, right? Sister Thomas. Uh, and Sister Thomas. I'm glad to have Sister Thomas with us this morning. Okay. And, Yes, Fire Davis. Is it Fire Davis? Is it Fire Davis? Is it Fire Davis? 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 Come on, we can do better than that. Where's the mic? It's not some kind of power. I am very disciplined, but want to hear David's testimony. Hello, good morning, church. Good morning, sir. Yes. I want to give God thanks yes, for all sir. that he has done for me. I am well aware. And it's a privilege for me being here this morning. Giving God thanks. And I feel different. Yes. I feel it on the to of the Navy. Yes. So I give God thanks for it. When we leave here at Sundays, we feel light. Yeah. And thank you very much. So don't move deep, and thank you. A long time ago, you're from Sister Dear. Let us see come out this morning. Praise the Lord, church. Yeah. I am happy to be in um, church today. Um, most of the Sunday, I don't make it, but I always tune in to like YouTube and so because God is wonderful. Yes, I'm not in church every week, but I'm a living testimony of God with grace and mercy towards me. So I'm praying for myself and I'm asking him to pray of my strength. God bless you. Thank you very much, Sister Palmer. Along with you, Pastor Palmer. Yes, Sister Palmer. I'm very disciplined this morning. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. I'm so glad to be here this morning. Yes. I'm so glad to be in the house of the Lord one more time because He never leave me nor forsake me. 
Please pray for me in Jesus' name. I promise you that we will Yes, Sister Enega. I wasn't here last week. I'm Mr. Tori. I'm glad to have you, Sister Enega. Mr. Lord, Lord, worship the Lord. Oh, Lord. Give him a higher praise. Oh, Bless the name of Jesus. It's a privilege to be in the house of the Lord one more time to lift up the name of Jesus. Virgin, I'm just asking you to pray my strength in Jesus' name. Well, I can go. I can go. Let me sit. Robinson. Robinson. Let's pray to the Lord. Um, I so happy to be here this morning. Last week I wasn't here and such a thing happened to me that I could not believe. Because I had to work last week on a Sunday. And while I was there shaping a piece of punch to go on the car, the armor slipped. I put my finger nail right across and I said, Lord God, have mercy on me. You know, I said, this is not right. Because I was supposed to be in church. So this week I said, no, I promised myself I would never work on a next Sunday again. So thank you, the Lord. Sister Kim, I know that you are. Well, I'm going to know. And God is here this morning. Good morning, church. Good morning. Praise the Lord. I want the church to know that. It's the only comfort I have shortly. Oh, Lord. I'm so happy to be here. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Mr. Rock, for me while I keep pushing the effort to be here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, my dear sister, dear. Come with you, Sister Gil. Come with you. No, it's Sister Gil. It's Sister Gil. It's your sister. Sister Gil's sister? Sister Gil's sister? Glad to have you. Now, Sister Gil, I'm going to Yes, KK. Long time I didn't get in front of KK. And probably most of us don't know that she has surrendered to God. Ms. Jackson. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, Lord. I'm happy to be in the house of the Lord. Ah, yes. Thank you. 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 Thank this morning. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about him, my grandmother? Yeah, Where is the pleasure? Oh, I'm oh, glad to have you, my dear sister. Can you stand and share this morning with us, please? Glad to have you this morning. Yes, okay, Sister Joe. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm glad to be in the house of the Lord this morning because we never tried to hold it down, but I tried to fight. So I just asked you to do Okay. Brother Danielson, a long time we'll hear from you. Brother Danielson, tell us what you decide to do. I made up my mind to follow Jesus, not to go back out into the road, but to follow Jesus. Will you pray for me? Okay, we're going to Give me back to my family. Give me back to my family. Just remind me, when were we baptized? The date and the time. Huh? I don't want to remember. When were we baptized, Brother Day? I don't remember the year. You don't remember? No. I know you're all in there, everybody. <laughs> you don't remember my year. Huh? You remember my year? No, but you remember just five of us. Five of us? Yes. Alright, that's uh, some 30 something years ago. Yeah, man. You know which party yet? 
30 something years ago. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, is there anyone who would like to share this testimony? Missionary Celia? Yeah. Miss Bart not Bartley. McDonald? Have you seen alright at school, your friends? It's good. You share Christ with them? No, sir. Sorry, time to start share Christ with them. Okay. What's happening to Miss McDonald? Praise the Lord, Church. Praise the Lord. I'm very happy to be in the house of the Lord another time. Please pray for me while I pray for myself. Thank you very much. Mr. Moss. Mr. Moss, did you make that commitment at your fasting? Did you make the commitment at your fasting, Mr. Moss? I weren't here. Are the children fasting? Did you make that commitment? You never make a comment. Okay. You ready to make that commitment now? All right, look more me on your talk, right? All right, thank you very, very much. Okay, Miss Michelle, Emma, and Cherga mother, a long time ago you're from you. Tell us something. Good morning, Cherga. Good morning. Actually, guys, did share my testimony. But I'm not sharing any testimony this morning. I have two family members died. I just asked him to pray for me. Pray the family. I think he would be a loving, more loving and care. I need some of us safe. I need to go and take care of us. Pray at my strength in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. See, Emma and Cherry come on the door to look at you. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, your family member died, should have. Yeah. Yes, God is able to carry you through. And uh, Sister Small, I don't know if all of us are aware that her son had died. As that gentleman who take you so many times, pray with him to leave the rum, leave the drinking. Well, Last time when we pray for me, first I went over by the shop and he asked him, don't sell him anymore rum. But, you know, if they don't sell him, he can go down the road and go about and go to the dead yard. He was a slave to the rum and the drinking. And so grieving this morning, I don't know if she's even crying at her son. I gone that way. So I just remember to pray her strength. She needed to pray her strength. The young man died like that. And I, I, I can't confirm, but we can speculate that. Because after Romy had been lost in his life. So I just want to encourage you, my brother and friend, as family Sunday. Just reminding you that it is a Sunday that we take out our family together. Sister, just pray with Sister Sweeney. Remember Sister Sweeney? Her husband always be with you at that time. Huh? Always. Pray with her. I don't know what happened with these two last Sunday, but God is able. And that gentleman who is her husband also, we all grow up together. We don't, we don't know nothing about church. We don't know nothing about church. So pray that God will save him, God will deliver him from his sin. And just say something for publicly. Um, there are so many of these children who have been committed that their life to God. But the problem is they had to come out at night service. And they come on Sundays and we just pay them no mind to me. No. For them to be encouraged, for we to follow them up, get them to share their testimonies, especially in the Sunday service when we have them. God bless you. God keep you. Sorry to be disciplined this morning, the sons. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Wonderful. Wonderful. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Deacon Thompson. Praise God for this wonderful part that you have played. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
keep the same. Praise the name of the Lord. When, when, when we look, praise God, for Topman Melrose Hill the other morning, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. We have to ask the Lord to keep us sealed. Because that man was going up. Yes, the taxi man. Maybe he was driving hard. Yes. But you don't expect any people to be coming down. My God. And it was the people that we have fixed the road. We should know better. Coming down the one way. Three people die on this path. You know, it's terrible. So, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We have to ask the Lord to keep us safe. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. My God. You know, praise God. If it was a two way road, you'd answer, well, you're looking for something coming down. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't know what they're going to charge that man for. Praise the name of the Lord because they are the one that fixes the road and coming down on it that, with that speed. My God. Praise God. So keep us safe, Lord. Keep us safe, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Only you can do it for us, Lord. Hallelujah. Please stand up here and praise the name of the Lord. Lift up the name of Jesus. Worship our King. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Jesus! Jesus! Hallelujah! When I heard the sister, praise God, was praying, sister. Valley, praise God about the blood demon. Praise the name of the Lord in carrying that just eight in 24 hours. Eight people died by the gun. Even chapter there. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Mother God. Father God. Son God. How you hear over land. Jesus of mercy. Blood demons. Praise the name of the Lord. But we have a better blood. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus! The blood of Jesus, church! The blood of Jesus! Hallelujah! The blood of Jesus! Hallelujah! Stay, stay right under the blood. Stay under the blood. Church, stay under the blood. And the devil cannot do us no harm if we stay under the blood. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. The man of God will be coming. Praise the name of the Lord. Pray and be ready. Pray. Praise the name of the Lord. So the choir is going to minister. And the next voice you hear will be the man of God. God and the pastor comes in fear of the Holy Ghost. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah, church. Hallelujah. Just encourage us to stand under the blood. Stand under the blood. Stand under the blood. Hallelujah. 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 We need that protection from the Lord above. So let us stand under the blood. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Truly he is worthy. Praise God to be praised. Praise God. Truly the song we are about to minister. Praise God. As ever there have been a time in your life. Praise God, we, are, we realize our God, he has picked up the, your broken pieces. Praise God, he has to throw the clay away. Praise God, and all of us here today, we are privileged. Praise God that he has to throw. Praise God, this whole clay away. Praise him, Jesus. Empty and broken. 
I came back to you, a vessel unworthy, and so hard with things, but he did not despair, he started over. Again. And I bless the day he didn't throw the day away. Can I just it again? Oh, empty and broken. I can.
of God, the mercies of God. Come on, if we really, truly experience the love of God, the mercies of God, and our sinful life, our sinful ways, we stumble, we fall. Come on, brothers and sisters. Amen. Over and over, lift your hands above your head. Open your mouth and give God praise. We have a thing that is within you. Come on. Let it be a time of thanksgiving. Let it be a time of celebration. Come on and celebrate the love of God, the mercy of God. My God, the goodness of God and our sinful life. Celebrate, celebrate. My God, over and over again. My God, my God. He didn't show the clear way. Brethren show the clear way. My God, mother throw the clear away. Fathers throw the clear away. Praise God. Some of us were called the black sheep. The black sheep of the family. Come on, friends. Amen. Praise God. Now work and throw the clear away. Come on. But Jesus, the Almighty, the designer, the designer. Hallelujah. Come on and give him worship. Come on and give him worship. The designer. My God, my God, my God. Praise God, praise God. Take Jeremiah, take Jeremiah. My God, and he takes him down to the Hopkins house. Come on and celebrate. Come on and give him our worship. Come on and give him our worship. He's to the praise, he's to the praise. Hallelujah! 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 Oh,
Jesus is here. The power of God is here. The covering of God is here. It's a day of thanksgiving, celebration. Praise God. Hallelujah. As we continue to do this song, in the mood out of your seat, quietly from your position, find somebody that the Holy Spirit leads you. Find somebody, praise God, hallelujah, to sing and to celebrate with. Come on, come on, hallelujah. My God, there is sad art, sad mind, some condition here. Praise God, but the master is in the house. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Praise God to so the a position as we worship and celebrate. My God, because today the Lord is in the house. Amen. It's a day of thanksgiving, deliverance, celebration. For the goodness of God, for the mercies of God. Amen. Praise God. Many of us will write up, write up. My family members, write up. Amen. My even church people, come on. Praise God. But today, my God, my God, my God. Look at us, look at us. Because of the mercies of God. Hallelujah. And we continue to sing. Come on, continue to sing. Use the microphone and sing. Sing, 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 sing. sing.
God, let me just give some announcement and just read out some information and that, amen, praise God to a message today. Praise God. Praise His name. God has been good. I have been already blessed. This feels like family Sunday. Come on, clap your hands and give God praise. the halter this morning I have my message changed I planned and of course in a message but as I was seeking the face of God the halter this morning as I lay there before the Lord then of course I receive amen Steve God's design for the family it was just this morning praise his name and because I got it at the halter Amen. I will be just reading some information on it. I will not attempt to preach. Praise God. Amen. We have been blessed and all the services run and all that have done and what Deacon Allison was saying and what Deacon Thompson come and have done with this hall in this message. And praise God. Our design for the family. Time he even has the lesson Sunday school will be with the priest, the man of God, the one that's standing in the gap, to present the people before God. At the time the very priests misunderstand, amen, the congregation or individual, amen, but it is good when we can humble ourselves. In the book of 1 Samuel, amen, we understand that Hannah, she had a soulful heart. Amen? But she know who to go to. She know who is the designer. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You see, it is good when we know who is the designer, yeah. the architect. Yeah. Amen. The one with the plan. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Let's be the name of Jesus. And although Eli misread her, misunderstand her, praise God. But of course, think that you were drinking and you were drunk. Huh? Oh, praise God. But she knows to go to. And she received the sons from the well. Amen. To become such a great man, such a great king. Amen. And priest of Israel. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. And so, amen. Praise God. Amen. 
the right of song. Amen. 16, it's beautiful. Amen. Praise God that we can bless the Lord. Amen. For giving us come to the seven words of the Spirit. Amen. In this reading. Praise God. We bless the Lord for giving us counsel. This is what we must understand. This age and time. Amen. With all that is going on, let us remember who have the blueprint. Amen. Who is the designer. And so we should always go to him for counsel. Amen. Okay, I went to him this morning in the church. The message. Amen. But he's still working it out in a different way. But I'm going to be reading the information. Praise God. Before I do so, really and truly, time we bypass so many things. Praise God. Amen. The announcement will. Uh, will you come in? Okay. Of course, we magnify God for Family Sunday. Amen. Yeah. We magnify God for our, all those that was not with us, but there was on the north coast or the south coast. It was on the north coast. Amen. Yeah. Now this is in Family Sunday. Amen. Praise God. So we have, of course, Amen. Deacon Wilmer Thompson. Amen. And of course, we have, of course, Wonderless John May Thompson. Amen. Praise God. We have, of course, uh, their celebration. Amen. March. Amen. I try to get my little piece of paper, but of course, Seems like it gets, of course, lost. <laughs> Amen. They celebrated the, the anniversary of the 21st of, of the 30th, 30th of October. I'm searching for my people. My head is not that good enough. But I have it somewhere here. Mm. Oh, praise God. Okay. Amen. And of course, for missionary, of course, Beverly Hollison. Amen. She was on the North Coast too. Amen. Because of different plans, her husband could not join. Praise God. Amen. Praise his name. And for Wanderless, Linval Thompson. And of course, his wife. Of course, amen. In secondary in the church, exalter Hollison, they were on the north course, amen. And of course, amen. We give the Lord thanks for them. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I quote this because, of course, I want to encourage and strengthen the family. That of course we are body, soul, and spirit. Amen. Amen. And as the wise man Solomon says, time for everything. So no whole look away. Like for some of us that cannot go in our court. Amen. Praise God. We can go. Amen. Praise God. Don't chopper down and we can go make it and we can go Thompson Tower. <laughs> it was so course. Amen. Amen. We can celebrate. Anyway, well, praise God. Anyway, understand that our God is big. Amen. Our God is big. And never you put yourself down. Amen. Praise God. If you plan for it, if you plan for it, no matter your background, no matter your financial status, even if you plan for it, it can be done. Amen. Amen. <laughs> we love to go and then, of course. All right. Oh, praise God. Amen. 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 But if you don't just sit before the camera and just smile in the face of Because, of course, you never remember to say, Welcome back, Brother Pinock and Sister Pinock from your honeymoon. Amen. She put it out. Amen. It's family so they remember. Amen. I'm going to try to keep it that way. Oh, praise God. Yes, yes. Uh, they told me that there was a narcos. I felt so good. My God, oh, praise his name. Oh, praise his name. Amen. Oh, praise God. Amen. So, of course, amen for all these lovely brethren. Let's keep on being prayer. Praise God. And, of course, to know that it works and prayer works and it is good. 
and we stay in the Lord and he bless us with wife and husband. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I remember, I remember when I have my, of course, marriage interrupted. And of course, I remember I said from this part that look here. Amen. Marriage no have no teeth. No follow that. All right. A love. The Bible tells us that it's love. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Oh, praise God. Amen. So never you look at what has happened to a person you know, until Jesus comes, these things will happen. Amen. Praise God. There are still outstanding husbands and wife. Amen. There are still great marriages. Amen. Amen. Come on and celebrate. Oh, praise God. Amen. And for a person like this, I'm praying for a wife. Oh, praise God. I'm glad I'm silent you people. <laughs> Oh, praise God. Amen. Praise God. I know that there are great, of course, wives still out there. Just by the people. Amen. Oh, praise God. Oh, praise His name. Oh, praise God. Oh, praise God. Oh, praise God. Amen. Yes, so God has been good for those that are going to court you. God is good. Let's trust God. Place him, yes, place in your life. For those that are still having struggles within your marriage life, or for those that are not quite understand something that might be going on in your marriage life, remember who is the designer. Amen. Amen. Praise his name. Amen. Take it to the designer. Amen. Amen. Praise God, the counselor. Praise God. Amen. The one that, of course, give the mother. Praise God for us. Amen. Praise God. So, of course, very briefly, amen. Praise his name. I was in the prayer meeting the other night. So I told God for some couples. So they were looking around and said, let's keep praying for them. I love. I said this, I said this many times, that of course, amen. When I see couple living good, they see couple loving each other, sharing together. You don't know what you're doing to me. It's like medicine to me. Amen. Amen. It's like medicine to me. Praise God. I don't. Amen. Praise God. Because I'm either saying that. Amen. I meant it from my heart. It's medicine to me to see people live good. Amen. Amen. See couple, couple live good. Wife and husband and children. Amen. Live God. But of course, so then children, which is so important from the scripture. Amen. But remember, amen. No matter what is going on in your life, in our life, we did not marry to children, we married to the man and the woman. Amen. Yeah. Oh, praise God. Amen. So upon that, as I was saying the other night, and I called this Eve also, yes. Amen. And of course, I'm glad for the help that Sister Bennett, Brother Bennett and Sister Bennett. Amen. We'll be celebrating your anniversary. It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Yes. Jump up and jump. 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 Come on, brother. I, I know. Everyone says, Surely so. Amen. I want that. Should have tried to surprise you. But remember, as we're saying also, men, we know that there is two major things that we should not forget about our wives. Number one, and all right, that's one the third one. Okay, birthday and anniversary, so they'll be, of course, amen, celebrating tomorrow. Amen. Praise God. Put your hands together for the Lord. God be to the Lord. Oh, praise God. Amen. Praise God. It's a sweet life. It's a blessed life. I said it does not have teeth. And I use that. Uh, I don't forget the scripture. What I meant. I you must understand that it has struggles. Amen. It has difficult times. It has trying times. Amen. 
Praise God. But when we know the designer, and when we are willing, when we are willing to compromise, amen, and of course, with God, under God, it can be great. Amen. It will be great. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, praise God. Oh, bless be the name of Jesus. Praise his wonderful name. I just go ahead with the announcement. Remember her in our prayer. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Praise God. Praise God. For Sister Cement. Kim Cement. Praise God. Thank God. Amen. And amidst this struggle, you are getting there. Amen. Praise God. And as I see you, try your best to worship to be. Yes. Sing and to praise God. Yes. This is the secret. This is the secret. Use it up, sister. Amen. Amid the trial, amid the situation, bless the Lord. Amen. Amen. The one that is giving comes. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise his wonderful name. So, of course, for those that do not really visit with her, we just ask her to stand so we can remember her. And I give the announcement straight away. Okay. God bless you. Just raise your hands. All right. All right. God bless you. God bless you. But the mandal we know about the lost is uh, sister, amen, a faithful brother of the church, amen. amen, and we as a church, we stand with people, and even as Sister Kim was saying that, of course, she always prays to be here, and she always to, that she wants to be in church, and my God, this is good, amen. Amen. amen, this is good, but she has said that we are all come, or come for, come on church, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. With the condition under which you've lost your son. We as a church also, we have seen it as a great loss, not just you. And we do mourn together. And I keep on saying, I will not try to dig into, I will not try to do any research. My God, why? It was easier. And what the cost it to happen? Amen. God knows. Amen. But what we have is what we want to reflect on the good thing that that young man was in the house of God. Yeah. Amen. He received the prayers. Amen. We give the Lord thanks for the vigil that was given to pray with our children before they go back into school. Amen. Amen. And we join in as a church and we pray. Amen. Praise God. That young man open his heart publicly right here. Amen. Praise God. He follow up the second day. Amen. He read the scripture. I tell you, I sat there and looked at him when he was called to read the scripture because he just, of course, made the commitment the day before. You know, young men always have this little timidness about them, especially to come up on reason. Amen. But he was so willing and so brave. No little blush. Come on, friends. Amen. Oh, praise God. Drop him home. Take his number and everything like that. His mother is sitting there. So that he called her and says, well, God said, and he asked her to buy something to go to church. Come on, church. Oh, praise his name. So I'm saying this a little bit sorrow of heart and so on. Let us keep our mind. As the Bible said, think on the things that are pure. pure. Things that are good, honest, good reports, right? Amen. I am saying to them in this family Sunday, friends, learn to think positively. Amen. 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 Oh, praise God. Amen. Think of the things that are a good report. Oh, praise God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh, praise God. So to God be the glory. So also, if the enemy try in every way, like I've quoted from somewhere, and Eli misread, of course, misunderstood uh, Anna, hmm? and we could say that was criticism from Eli. Are we following? Yes. Praise God. But of course, when she declared herself then we can say Eli was really humble. Amen. What's up is, of course, fault. The no, no, it's not so. It's not tricky. But this woman is of a sorrowful heart. Amen. Amen. Oh, praise his name. And I want to tell you, Amen. Just so they were the top seed was, was not easy. She had to identify her son two times before the postmortem. After the postmortem, it was not easy. Amen. Praise God. But God is good. Peace. Amen. The wound that she looked at and how that, my God. God is good. Amen. So I'm saying all of that to say also, 
So after we agreed that yes, the 19 would be, of course, you wanted for the Thanksgiving service to be on the 19. Think about it. Dave and I forget everything that Brother Mohan was saying. One is on the 19, and going ahead making plans. And so we'll have to dismantle that this morning. So prayer straight. Oh, praise God. Come on. Are you following? Yes. Come on, Amen. Praise God. Amen. So, of course, my sister, amen. Praise God. God give you the strength. Amen. Oh, praise his wonderful name. Okay, so also announcement, but announcement to those remember, we'll fully support the one sister will be the 19th, the 16th, the 19th. And of course, amen for Sister Kim son. Of course, we'll, we'll be on the 26th, the following Saturday. Everybody get it? So let us remember to be prayerful, to amen. Be Dear to pray and to strengthen this family. Amen. Amen. Praise God. The prayer line, Church of God, they will be having, of course, Amen. Rally, and this will be on the 20th of November. Okay. 20th of November. We'll talk more about it. All right. Okay. God bless you. Okay. For the men's fellowship department, family. Amen. Of course. The, yes. What's going to leave with us in the council, right? Okay. For the men's fellowship. Amen. Praise God. Brothers, are we ready? Brothers, are we ready? For men's fasting and crusade. Brothers, are we ready? Amen. Let me hear the brother clap hands. We don't need a sister right now to clap. All right. Amen. Let me get the full support now. Sisters, are you ready to work with the brothers? Yeah. Sisters, are you ready to work with the brothers? Yeah. You're right. And we know we have a church that believes in kingdom building. And sisters that are really, really mindful of the men's department. Amen. And that are working and praying with the men's department. And to God be the glory. Amen. Praise yeah. God. Okay, I don't know something going from other. Okay, God bless you. If I can take. Oh God. I really have to do this. Uh, but I have to just do it briefly. Yes, I have my heart on. Praise God. Amen. So I'll take congregation. Praise God. So at this time we magnify God that He is the patron. We are the clay, the designer. Amen. Amen. And we are so grateful that he did not throw the clay away. So many times we find ourselves in trouble. What has the family today? Amen. From the book of Colossians, we have seen a great setting here because it takes in the husband, the wife, the children, takes in the employee, employer. Amen. What a design. Oh, praise God. Be the name of Jesus. So I promise ever to try and preach, but just to read, read out some information. And please tell this keenly as uh, Amen. Reflect back, Amen, on the plan of God for the family. Amen. amen. So, of course, it's read the wife submit yourself to your husband. It is fitting in the Lord. Husband, love your wives and do not bitter against them. Children, obey your parents in everything that is in the Lord, for this is pleasing in, to the Lord, from the sight of the Lord. It's God design. And but from Exodus, it also promises us long life. Amen. For this is pleasing in, um, into the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children, so they will not become, of course, disarted. Amen. What God original design? For the family. Yes. Let me rephrase and put that into by the way for question. What was God's original design for the family? Sadly, when we thinking about the family, many don't have great memories in scripture. There are only four chapters without sin. This is one, two, and of course in Revelation 21. But we have some knowledge there. 
And therefore, even the scripture has many tragic stories, right, about the families. It shows, of course, the devastation effect of sin on the family. That is why we have that first prayer. And before our visitors that were talking about the sister was moving, of course, that's the prayer. Amen. Leader. Amen. Praise God. Praise God, one that we know, give ourselves totally to God, and we magnify God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As I listen to the deacon who's saying, to that prayer and says, my God, we could close, huh? We could close. Praise God. Amen. Okay, therefore, even scripture has many tragic stories about families. It shows the station, right? Adam and Eve sinned, and Adam responded by blaming his wife. Amen. Remember, we're just highlighting. They, uh, they parent two male children. Remember, okay, the first couple. They parent two male children, and one of the son kills the other one. Come on, church. Let us reflect and let us see what is going on. The devil is always after the seed. Amen. Oh, praise His name. I promise I will never attempt. Preach, my God. Yes, yes, so when the devil always after, amen, God designed, God planned. Also, in saying that, let us just get it. That, of course, yes, even if Jesus come to hurt us, we are marriage happy, son. We have to fight for our marriage. We have to fight for our family. Because the devil is always after the families. Come on, church. Praise God. Amen. Yes. So also, Abraham, God chose a man. What a man like Abraham. He married two wives. And of course, breaking God's design and eventually keep one wife, as we know, out of the house. Jacob married several wives like his grandfather. His 12 sons eventually sold their younger brother into slavery. David too, of course, exposed to many wives and and his son raped his sister. More, remember? Then the daughter, brother Absalom, then the daughter, brother Absalom killed, my God, the son that raped her. Tragedy, tragic situation. Let us wake up, church. Amen? Amen. Praise God to know that the devil will not let up. He's against us with perfect hatred. Amen? And we know that we are worse off. All right, we're not find it in the dictionary. Okay, against him. Amen. My God. David too exposed to many wives, as we said. Amen. When we consider the biblical narrative, we see many families' relationships that were broken by sin. Today's story is no different. Sin still destroys family relationship. And therefore, we don't have great models of God's design. In fact, today we even see the effect of sin in the reflection of marriage. In some culture, men take many wives, and in other homosexual marriages, of course, are accepted. Amen. And we will say much on that, and even in the prayer meeting. Amen. Oh, praise God. Paul Sunday Deacon Thompson spoke in the prayer meeting and they really touched up some great points. Amen. What is God designed for the family? And how can we have, of course, the relationship God meant us to have? Or the relationship I have with my family, a proper reflection of my heavenly Christ. Amen. Or the standard, amen, of the master the designer. Amen. Amen. My God. What is God designed for family? And how can we have the relationship? Yes, I do that. Often when a person comes to Christ, there isn't much changes at all. But according to Colossians 3, Paul says that one relationship with Christ should affect everything he begins. Amen. Or everything he become. Amen. Praise God. Talking about the believer, new position in Christ, 
listed my God to what he says. Since then, you have seen, you have been raised, yes? Amen, with Christ, amen. The teacher give us a number of to that teacher. Praise God, our position in Christ, amen. Oh, praise God. Yes, so as Christians now, we have a new position. So amidst the devil trying to destroy, and amidst that is out of the family, and amidst that, of course, we're not from, of course, amen, we're not without sin, amen. My God, in the midst, of course, we find, of course, at times our wives get miserable, our husband get miserable. Amen. Amen. But we handle it, amen, in a different light, in a different way. Amen. And that is love. For God so loved us, he first displayed that, of course, this is practical. Amen. Amen. Praise his name. Jesus Christ, amen, shows, amen, that when we talk about love, of course, it is not conditional. Amen. Oh, praise his name. Praise God. Mm. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Mm. So, relationship with Christ, first and foremost, should affect everything about us. Amen. Praise God. When a believer was, when a believer was saved, he spiritually identified with Christ. He died with Christ. He rose from the dead with Christ. He is now seated with Christ in heavenly places, Ephesians 2, amen, verse 6. Amen. However, this position should not simply be a mental note or point of theology. For a Christian, it should radically change his life. It should radically change our life, our thinking. Amen. Oh, praise God. To be the name of Jesus. God. Praise his name. Praise God. Mm. Praise God. Help me, Lord. Oh, praise God. Just pray. As I said, I sometimes bypass many things. But of course, as this was given to me, I don't want to be in trouble. Praise God. So please to Follow up. Amen. Oh, praise God. Mm. My God. It should change the way a person thinks, forces to think of things above and not on things and hurt. Verse 2. This position in Christ should affect every thought. Or very thought. It should change, of course, even the clothing we wear. Paul tells the church to take off the old clothing of sin and put a new clothing of righteousness. Any man in Christ, the new creature, all things, all things which fit our heavenly. So this is, we must bear in mind what is going on here. It's about, amen, pleasing Christ. And when we get this right as a church, as an individual, that many times when the devil is using us to think that the person is not worthy of the love, not worthy of the pampering, let us remember we're dealing with, of course, the word of God for us. Amen. The manual. Amen. Praise his name. We're dealing, of course, with the design and the, the designer and the design that he gave. Because we did not start ourselves. We did not, of course, amen, fix the, the family. Amen. We have it designed and handed down to us. Are we following? Amen. Praise God. Amen. So, of course, with this in mind, Amen. Our Heavenly Father position. Yes. The position should fit our Heavenly Father, of course, design. In Christ's fall, you're trying to hear this, really. Amen. Something. Okay. I go over. Which fits our heavenly father position in Christ. Okay, put and love, compassion, kindness, forgiveness, bearing with one another, as verse 5 to 14 would have helped us. Also, in the book of Colossians 3 15 to 17, he describes the, of course, priorities of our heavenly position. The priorities here, very important. All right, the outer garment of every believer, the Christian must. Let the peace of Christ rule in our life. Amen. 
the Christian. This is why Jesus Christ taught. Amen. The disciples in Matthew 1, 5. Amen. Praise God. Blessed are the peacemakers. Amen. Praise God. We must manufacture peace. Praise God. Oh, praise his name. Oh, praise God. To be the name of Jesus. Oh, praise God. Pray for me. Make sure. Mm. Praise God. I am jumping down. Praise God. The wife responsibility. Look at it in. Wife, submit yourself to your husband as Christian in the Lord. First, we see wife role. Paul says, wife, submit yourself. Okay. As it is fitting. Look at the context in the Lord. Amen. Not what we think, not what family members say, but what the word of God says and designs. For us. Amen. Oh, praise God. Help us, Jesus. Yes, the wife must submit to her husband because this is fitting, or it is, of course, appropriate for her position in Christ. Amen. And it is why, when, of course, wives that have unsaved husbands can really do what the word says and follow what the word says. Amen. Their unsaved husband must come to Christ. You hear what I said? Yeah. Must come to Christ. Amen. We're dealing with Christ. Amen. He's not unfaithful. When we have been faithful to him, don't we turn faithful to us? Amen, church. Amen. All right. The word submission often carry, of course, uh, Nasty connection in our society, but it must be noted that submission does not mean inferiority, in which, of course, like it were in the culture of the holy times when even this were written, amen, where women were just uh, like furniture or like a video. Yes, did not have any talk, amen, and when they could be divorced for just about anything. All right. Amen. Praise his name. Yes, submit is actually a military word. Mm -hmm. The word simply means to arrange under rank. It means to come up under, as, of course, under a surgeon is not inferior to a captain. They are equal. However, to have order in the military authority, then, of course, must exist in the relationship or if these things does not exist and carried out, then, of course, we're going to be having chaos. Right. In the same way, when God made the husband and wife relationship, he made it with order so that it would function properly. Amen. Praise his name. Oh, praise God. Amen. I would have to go watch but this man, the sinner. But I tell you, I talk with him when he could. I say, No man, we pray for you. That God will turn you around. Have a lot of word. He helped Charles. But of course, he reads the Bible. He believes the Bible. Amen. I was there talking. I was bringing out something. And he says, understand. He said, you know that women cannot truly love? <laughs> All right. I just steal your pure mind. Amen. Let me go into scripture. Amen. Praise his name. And so he says, why you think that we're the, the designer? Why think the designer, of course, said that he's the man supposed to love? Then he's supposed to submit. Because that is God's authority. That is how God set up his kingdom, right? Men are ruler. All right? Amen. He said some other things. But of course, just think. <laughs> oh, praise his name. Amen. Yes. Oh, my God. Submission does not simple that the wife is less than the husband. All right. So from the church, it's from the Sunday, remember? Wife is no less than the husband, and I think over there I am from the sisters. 
from the wives, the ladies, from the prospective wives. Amen? Oh, praise God. Well, you're not saying much because you know that we know that we embrace that. Amen? That the wife is not in fear. Amen? Oh, praise God. Amen? All right. Okay. Yes. So, we understand that. Scripture clearly proclaimed the equality of all in Christ. Galatians 3.28 says, There is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Come on, lift your hands. Celebration day. All one in Christ Jesus. Amen. There is equality in Christ. So however, our equality and of course, unity in Christ does not remove our role. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. My God, are we getting that? Yes, the equality. So we must understand the role and respect each other's role and encourage each other in their role. Amen. What Galatians teaches does not change the fact that the slave was still supposed to submit. Amen. Praise God. To and obey his master. Confucian tree. 2020 Fijian 6.5. Amen. Amen. Still a wife. The Bible says, wife submits. Still a wife. Amen. Praise God. Amen. My God. Help me, Jesus. Amen. Help me, Jesus. Mm. Oh, God. Mm. So, in the liberation movement, takes Galatians 3.28 and of course, people teach it against one another. They say women no longer need to submit to their husband, or that women do not need to practice submission in the church. It's come to 1 Timothy 2.12, because we are all one in Christ, this greatly damaged the teaching of scripture. They are meant to fit together and not uh, Contradict one another. Anyway, interpret, interpretation question Why is the woman called to submit to the man? Or is this reflect in the rest of scriptures? The answer is, is this. Okay, the answer, of course, go back to creation story, Genesis 1 26 and 27 says then god said let us make man in our own image in the light in our likeness and let them rule over the fish of the sea the birds of the air over the livestock over the earth and over all created things the thing that created and moved along the ground or up on the earth so god created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created a male and female. When God said, let us, amen, praise God. Many, be many believe this is a reference to the Trinity. God the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Being one. When the, of course, um, Trinitarian God made man in his image. He made two people who would be one flesh. And that is in marriage. Genesis 2.24. The male, female together as one are a reflection of the Trinity. How do we see this? We see this in God. Of course, pure plurality and of course um, is current unit. Three in one, in addition, a crucial aspect of his deity is authority and submission in the Godhead. As we were going through this on the school, even Jesus Christ himself while he was here, going through all that he, amen, praise God, was going through for our sins. Amen? To remold us again. Amen? To make us in his own likeness again. Amen. He have to sell Christ out if it was possible at the cross. But the human chipped in. Amen. Showing that he was fully human. Praise God. Does he recognize and does he feed upon the, his father, of course, authority. 
Dignan recognized that he was under authority. He says, Lord, we could say, he says, Lord, I'm sorry, not my way. Let yours be done. Amen. My God, help me, Jesus. Oh, God, stretch your hands and help him, God. Oh, praise his name. Praise God. I pray that you will just follow up. Amen. Praise God. Just be patient. Oh, praise his name. Mm. Oh, God. Now, when we realize that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is man, and the head of Christ is God, as I've just said. Amen. Amen. In this passage, we see the headship within God person. God is the head of Christ, even though God the Father and God the Son are co-equal. The Son submit to the Father. Come on, Church of God. My God, my God, my God. What a word. Amen. Praise his name. I hope we're taking it. I hope we're getting it. Amen. There was there. Let us mean one. There was there. Yet the Son submit to the Father. And that is why we have redemption today. That is why today we can be lifting and singing. Amen. In the presence of God. Amen. Praise God that you are the part of we are the clay. Come on, church. Amen. That's why today we can be singing these wonderful hymns. Amen. Hallelujah. As anointed people put them together. Amen. Praise God. He takes me and he makes me, molds me over and over again because of his goodness, his love. My God, help us, Jesus. Help us, Jesus. Come on, lift your hands and give him worship. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. If Christ can submit, come on, church. If Christ can submit, come on, brothers and sisters. Amen. Praise the What about us? Amen. Praise his name. Let us go back to the matter. Let us go back. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God to the design. Hallelujah. So be the name of Jesus. Praise God. Even though the Son God Father, even. Mm -hmm. My God. All right. He obeyed the Father, Jesus. In a similar view, when God made male and female in his image, he put authority and submission in that relationship. <laughs> My God. We don't have to worry. God put it there. What is that saying? We can love as men. Amen. You can submit. Amen. God put it there. Is the devil trying to interrupt it? It can be done. It must be done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise his name. Praise God. Praise God. Yes, the head of the woman, probably better translated wife. The marriage relationship is a reflection of, of course, it's Triune, God, the Trinity, of course, relationship. This unit and authority in the marriage is a reflection of how mankind is made in the image of God. A reflection of how we make in the image of God. We make and in place it there we can love. Amen. Praise God unconditionally. It is dear. Just also to feed on the word, feed and prayer. Amen. Amen. Be Amen. Willing to please God. Amen. Amen. Praise his wonderful name. Amen. With that said, sin terrible destroys the image of God in man. We do not reflect God as we should because sin has created a rebellion against God harder. Come on, children, let us pick it up and recognize him, that sin is the cause even of rebellion. And rebellion is not just against our wife or husband, it's against the order of God. That would have read in Psalm 16. That's why we're having the blood shed, the, the, the blood shed and all these things. Because when the design of the home 
Amen has been broken and everything else is out of shape. Everything else is out of order. Everything else is chaos. Amen. So we have work to do, brothers and sisters. Amen. And in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. We're going back to the design. Amen of the designer. Amen. Oh my God. Help me, Help me Lord. Because I touch the wife. Better part of the wife section is still to come. Because I have to close here. Amen. I have to make sure I touch the husband. Amen. Yes. So I can come back before this part. <laughs> oh, praise God. Oh, praise his name. Husband, love your wives. And do not beat you against them. What about the role of husbands? Paul says to the husband that they should love their wife. Now, it should be known that in the Asian context, this was a pretty radical statement. It, of course, um, pushed against the norms of society when it was written. Amen? Right? William Berkeley described both the Jew, the Jewish and Greek ancient context in reference to women in his commentary on the book of Colossians, or in Colossi, the time. Look at what he says. Under Jewish law, woman was a thing, the position of her husband. Woman were a thing, the position of her husband. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Yes. The possession, of course. Amen. Praise his name of her husband. Just as much as his house or his flock or his material goods, she had no legal right what's to heaven. My God. Thank God for the church. Amen. Thank God for the blood of Jesus. Amen. Oh, pray get him something here. Amen. Amen. I did not really plan to put you to bed. So I swear that try to put you on to read from by heaven. I want us to get it. Amen. Amen. Oh, praise God. Amen. Praise his name. Okay. Yes. Um, so, as we go back. Under the Jewish law, a husband could divorce his wife for any cause. While a wife had no right at all in the, in, of course, institution of divorce, and the only ground on which a divorce might be, of course, uh, might be awarded her as a wife, were if her husband developed leprosy, <laughs> gave up his belief, or sexual, assaulted a virgin. In Greek society, of course, uh, a respectable woman lived a life of entire, uh, entire Seclusion. There's something that I miss out here. Forgive me for that. I'll come back. All right. Operate on the street alone. Not even to go shopping. She lived in. Um, she lived in the womb, or in the woman apartment, rather, and did not join the men of the household, even for a meal. Amen. Mm, it was like that. Complete, of course, servitude, of course, and also chastity were demanded of her. But her husband could go out as much as he chose and could enter into a many relationship outside the marriage as he liked without. Oh, my God. 
Mm. I would always want to be criticized or criticized by his wife and others. Okay. In the Jewish and Greek culture, the woman had liquor or no right. She was a piece of property. Mean to serve her husband. Therefore, Paul, teach. Amen. So let us get into this now. When Paul really says this. Amen. Paul teaching run against the, of course, sway of Jewish and Greek society. The husband was commanded to love his wife, which was radical. Ephesians describe what the husband love should, should, of course, amen, be like. He called to love Christ. Amen. Amen. The husband love. Amen. If you don't help us to understand what it should be like. Okay. Of course, the husband love should love like he love Christ. Ephesians 5, 5 to 28. Amen. Praise his name. Evangelist in the house. Amen. That's a lovely text, you know. Oh, praise God. Oh, praise his name. But it's the Bible. Amen. Husband, love your wife, Jesus Christ, of the church, and gave himself up to my God to be holy. And of course, amen, cleansed by the washing with water through the word, and to present her to her, to himself, a radiant church, without, of course, fat, without wrinkle, amen, without blemish, amen, but holy, blameless, my God, in this same way. In this same way, husbands are to love their wife as their own bodies. He who loves his wife love himself. God designed it that way. Amen. Oh, praise God. Help me God. Help me God. Praise his name. You don't mind not quite understand. Even when we over that song. I actually want to just call off everything. But when I remember that it was at the heart of this morning I get this word, I have to be careful. Amen. 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 Oh, praise God. Everything else, even for for the choir, instead of the to me, what's the team? I gave her a different team. I didn't worry to tell her this morning that I changed. Just a little one, but it fits in anyhow. Oh, praise his name. Amen. God is good. Oh, praise his name. Oh, praise God. To be the name of Jesus. Yes, so of course, amen. God wants us to get back, amen, to where we belong, to his design. His design. We have so many designs around us today, in society today. Amen. And of course, Hollywood and books and different things are designed in families. And many church people take it up. My God, the church gets silent. Hmm? Amen. Come on. Amen. I thought somebody name of the books remind me. That are designed in family today. And many of the shows. And even some Christian do are, are allowing these things to keep in them from church. I think that you know, that we don't have that here. Thanks be to God. Then we know better than that. We know better than that. Amen. Praise God. And cause a broken problem in the marriage relationship. Because of what they are seen or taken from flames. Amen. Destroying the design for God. Come on, Virgin. I don't know if you I'm serious. But what I'm saying, I'm serious about what I'm saying. Amen. Praise God. My God. Yes. Some of the days of our life, man. Huh? Hmm? Christians, come on, we are. Any man in Christ is a new creature. The devil does not really have our plan, doesn't have the blueprint for our living, our lifestyle. It's God, it's the church, it's the B I B L E. Let us get back to the Bible. Your instruction for life. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's be the name of Jesus. Oh, praise God. 
Help us, Lord. There are several characteristics of the husband love seen in this passage. The husband love must be, of course, realistic. The husband should have no, of course, unrealistic fantasies about the woman he is married. Christ loved the church and died for her while we were still enemies. When did Christ die? When we were still enemies. My God, help me, God. Husbands, men that don't marry it. Somebody look around and say, Help me, God. Help me, God. This is not what Pastor said, friends. Come on, this is the Bible. And of course, it's not easy as we are talking. It's not easy as we are talking, but thanks be to God that He placed it within us. So, having that knowledge, we will not abort our confidence in God that He will give us the love, Amen, the patience, the meekness to put up with and to love our wives. And with that, I can speak with authority because I know when I give God that, but I try my best to let my will work. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise His name. I try my best to forgive and to move on. It was not accepted, so I can lift my hand and say, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So in the name of Jesus. Oh, praise God. Amen. Christ knew she was sinful and disobedient. Come on. Amen. He still gave his life for her while knowing her fault. His love was realistic. Christ's love for the church. In marriage, both mate should understand this reality. Let me help you because I have to really believe on my soul. So let me help you. We're going to be having one session. Amen. The only afternoon session will be amen for the candidates and those that are reconciling. Those that are reconciled to God, they have the class. All right, is that amen? So in other words, I'm just helping you because I want us to get it. Amen? Amen, I'm just helping you. And I have to deliver myself. Oh, praise God. Amen? Oh, praise God. Amen. So if it is really amen, lift your hands up of your head and say, yes, Lord, I will. What you will do? What you will do? <laughs> you will remain to the end. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You know, there's the very good feeling. You stand here and people pick up their book already, you know. Okay? So it says, Lord, I will. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I can't forget. It's not a preaching as I try. Okay, but just to read out, you know, don't be preaching for. Okay? Yes, but I remember. Let him stick with me. It was the radical. It was the radical. I tell you about him many times. Bishop, Pascal, Bishop, the general secretary from the Testament Church, Beeson. The radical man he was. I can't forget. Of course, some friends when I was in came and he was watching him. And one of his messages, message in Kingston, they were preaching and he said that they anointed. Amen and preaching. Okay? And of course, we're getting later. And he says, My my God, after me pregnant and I deliver, Virginia Mara run home to them, dead meat. <laughs> it's not very hard. But you must understand. Amen. When a person is in their soul and they're getting the destruction and so on, so I have to pray for them. Can use words that, of course, real. Amen. Can be very disturbing. Amen. My God. Amen. Well, thank God I'm talking so I can hear it. Amen. Praise God. Praise His name. Okay, so of course, I give 
Father, praise God. Praise God. The love must be sacrificial. The love must be sacrificial. So the husband, I am jumping to some. Uh, he is to love her as Christ loved the church and be willing to die for her. So help me God. Well, I'm going to put your hands and say, Help me God. Help me God. Oh, praise God. Amen. God designed for the family. Yes, I know my evangelist is coming alive. Oh, praise God. <laughs> And, and when I'm saying this, of course, amen, it's my wish is talking. So. <laughs> amen. She always sees us at this one. She always sees us at this one. Amen. Oh, praise God. Help me, God. Help me, God. Help us, Lord, as mothers today. Help us as husbands. Amen. Yes. It should be, it should be Ed that if anybody feel like the wife role is unfair, if anybody feel like the wife role is unfair, they should give more tact to the man. It is much easier to submit. Amen. It is more easier. To submit. <laughs> My God. Amen. It's much easier to submit to someone than to give one's life for that person. This love that the husband is supposed to embody is impossible without the grace of God. To love sacrificially me, husband, must at all times give up other things to serve and to please his wife. He must sacrifice for her. He must sacrifice time, entertainment, friendship, sometimes even career in order to love his wife. The husband's love must be purposeful. Amen. Christ's love made the church holy by cleansing her with his word, hallelujah. Let me see what said. The word, the word, hallelujah. Christ's purpose is to make her the perfect bride. Yes. Similarly, the husband must love his wife through teaching her scriptures, getting her involved in Bible preaching. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Teaching, encouraging her to get involved with small groups. Amen. Yes. Amen. And ministries are areas where she can go. And sir, amen. He must sleep to cultivate not only her character, but also her calling so she can fulfill God's plan for her life. Hallelujah. 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 Let's be the name of Jesus. Praise God. Let's be the name of Jesus. Praise God. And I'm jumping because I believe on my soul. Children. Children's responsibility in their, their parents. I did not finish, but I think we get, get it. Amen. Open. Oh, children, obey your parents in everything of the Lord, for this is pleasing to the Lord. My God, where are the children? Where are the children? We know they're different from us, they're all easy and things like that. But I know that I will have to revisit this. And when I revisit this, then of course, all that will be done is the consecration. Maybe so that you will not show up. You will have time for it because I am the one that will be charged because I get it at the help. Amen. I should also remind you. But I will charge, I will charge I will for a sister that the Lord says I must spend more time on the heart. 
And she may go to the Lord says that you're a bedtime part, that you're a house prayer. We'll spend time on the altar. And each time I come to the altar, God gave me a word. Oh, praise his name. Oh, praise God. To be the name of Jesus. I mean from past and whatever. Me, by myself. Amen. Oh, praise God. Let us stand. I will have to because I will have to do it wisely. Because I also have to charge the children. And it is in it. And I have to do it. Amen. Oh, praise oh. God. Evangel songs will be coming and be leading us right into the Lord's Supper part of today. Praise God. Everybody that is on the outside that is so uneasy. Amen. We can try to be back inside to be a part. Amen. The children part and the family part there. What I really love and I have to do it. It shows that I'm made children church. And what this shows that of course I'm in the children church and so on, which is good. But of course, it's not the best. Even because God designed that the family should be together. Amen? And they should hear the word of God together. And it's Bible. We get it from the Bible. Amen? Amen. Oh, praise God. God bless you. God bless you.